Oh, what do we have here? Okay. Unbox time. Oh, shit. Oh, this will be a lot easier with two hands. <laughs> that was a terrible cut. So I got it off Amazon. Check it out. And Miro shine bright no matter what. Strip lights. Let's see what's inside this junk. Okay. And Miro. So we open this joint up. Okay, we got the fancy remote. I see everybody with on YouTube. <laughs> All right, we got a power adapter. That's what's up. I think this is the yeah, this is the this is the strip connector. I think um this comes with two two strips. I'm guessing that goes to the power adapter of course. Duh. Alright, but and yeah, there we go. Got one, got two. Okay. Alright, I think um let me see if this thing says. Should not be cool. Cutter crushed or can be cut following the cutting lines. Alright, that's good to know. The LED shoes must not exceed five meters when using a DC series circuit. Okay, good to know. Service must be smooth, clean, and dry. Sounds good to me. Anything on the back? No. Alright, I think these are 32 feet long. I think so. And I think I want to start it from there. Hit that corner, all the way down to that corner, and then stop there. And I know this room is like 12 by 11, so I'm guessing from this corner to that corner is like 10 feet maybe. And I already know from that corner to that corner is 12. I think we got enough space. We're looking at, I think I got like 32, 32 feet of space that I want to use. And then these things are, I think, 36 feet long or something like that. Either way, it's going to work. All right, let's get started. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, there's some other little, I guess this is like the sticker stuff. Some adhesives. That's what it looked like. What's that? Oh, some clips. Okay. That'll come in handy. All right, bet. You know, you gotta have some troubleshooting stuff. Okay, common troubleshooting. All right, hopefully I don't have to use this. What we got here? Okay. Shine bright no matter what. Why, thank you, Ten Miro. Oh, it's called Ten Miro. Okay, so, 44 key radio frequency remote control. Yeah, honestly, the only color I care about is that perp. That perp, baby. Can't wait to see that jump. All right, so. All right, you got a whole bunch of cool settings and flashing and brightness. That's what's up. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Just like I said, both of them color wheels gonna go in that jump. All right. It's on the other side of this jump. Okay, these are the cutting instructions and all that. It says, after connecting correctly, check if the light strip is working properly. And we'll do that. Remember to remove the plastic paper from the remote controller. Duh. Clean the surface and remove dust. Please do not touch the sticky side. Okay, good to know. Cut along the line to the length you want. If you don't need to cut, ignore the step. I think I'm gonna to need to cut. Uh, please stick it with the pressure. So you stick it with the pressure when pacing it. Okay, some great grammar. Try not to tear off. <laughs> Try not to tear off it and stick it again. They are awesome at grammar. <laughs> um, test the lighting effects after installation. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Hopefully I won't have to. All right, I think, I've, I think I've seen enough. Let's get to it. All right, it's simple enough. These two go together. That wasn't so hard. Now we gotta find a good point to put, to connect both of these joints on there. All right, here we go. 
put the let's put the phone on the uh, on a ring light stand. I need to free my hands for this one. I think they gave you some resealable. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna have to put it back in there, but I mean, I'll keep the resealable package. That's kind of cool. So this is what it looks like. Looks kind of like a movie film reel. Uh, I said that all fucked up. <laughs> looks kind of like a movie film reel. That's what it looked like. All right? That's what's up. It smells like a new car. Um, I literally can smell it from here. Oh, right, cool. Here's the other one. I'm assuming this is the exact same thing. Yep, cool. All right. Two film reels. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's be gentle, because the last thing I want to do is screw something up. Okay. Ah, okay. See, this is the cutting strips I think they were talking about in the instruction manual. Seems like they got one every... Dang. It's like every five inches they got a cutting strip on this drum. That's good. So, you know, you got, you got, got options. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Probably start just mapping this thing out on my wall. All right, here we go. Okay, see, I know I want to put these lights all around the perimeter, but I got to find the most convenient spot to have this at. Which I'm right now, I'm thinking is in the middle here somewhere. I got an outlet there, so I might as well use that drum. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't want to put it at this outlet because I don't want that little wire to run up the wall right here. It's gonna annoy the hell out of me and it's going to trigger my OCD. So, I got another outlet over here behind the sofa. We're gonna run the wire right there under the under the molding. I'm gonna have them both come up behind the, behind the, behind the door and that's it. I'm gonna come, come on out. So let's see how this go. Got to pull out the handy dandy step ladder. Safety first, you dig? Okay, so I changed my mind again. I had it started. <laughs> but I stopped because I realized these two lights do not connect. They have to go opposite ways, obviously. So what I got it going now is in this back outlet. So now I'm about to run it up this wall here. You go in two directions. Go that way, and then you're the other one going down the wall that way. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, baby! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! 
at it. 